So initially when you're going to take off from the runway with the A5, it's relatively like any other airplane. Before rotating, we're still focusing on our airspeed. So normal takeoff in the A5 is gonna be flap zero, throttle max, and we're gonna rotate at 50 knots. And then as soon as we're off, we're gonna go directly to our AOA gauge. And that now becomes our primary instrument. Here we go. Full power. Engine instruments are good. Our airspeed's coming alive. There's 50, and we're up. And now all AOA gauge, we're climbing up at that AOA white line. That's what we want. We got a nice, good, positive rate of climb. Safely airborne, the gear's coming up. It's really important to always have muscle memory with bringing your gear up. Running through checklist flows, having a, a, a trigger that every single time after you rotate, positive rate, you know, you're safely airborne, your hand should be on that gear handle bringing it up. Anytime your hand is on the throttle and you're, you know, powering back or powering forward, you should be verifying essentially your flow checklist, right? The three things that we always check in the A5 is going to be gear, flaps, and water rudder. So landing the A5, normal runway and normal water um, landing is actually very similar. We do land with power, it's minimal flare, and we're essentially flying it all the way to the ground. Hey, we plan a touchdown pretty much right at the numbers or close to it, so that's what we're looking for. We're gonna start our configuration to land. So it's gonna go power to 3000. Gear is coming down. My hand is gonna stay on the handle until the gear is all the way down and indicating down, right? So down and indicating down. Flaps are gonna stay up, water rudders up, and we're looking for that AOA white line. That tree traffic icon one for Bravo Alpha is turning final for zero two. And same thing, so we're doing a gear check again. Gears down, flaps up, water rudders up. Okay, so we're on final approach. Still holding that white line. I want to get too low, so I'm adding just a little bit of power. So white line, 10 to 15 feet. We're going to transition to that yellow line. Keep it right at that 3,000 RPM. Nice shallow landing, shallow flare. We'll go full power. You're already at rotation speed, so you just got to lift right up. And then we're back at that white line, climbing up. Positive rate, safely airborne, we're going gear up.